Hi friends, it's Larissa, aka Matt, the R E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters level up their content creation, marketing, and branding game with Canva and the Wolfpack here at EXP Realty. If you know, you know. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Google Drive to Canva. Now, this is going to help you do two things. One, you are able to retrieve photos that are living inside a Google Drive folder and import them directly into Canva when you are creating designs. And two, you can export your Canva designs directly back into your Google Drive, which will help you create immense efficiencies when creating marketing material for your real estate listing. So if you're ready, be sure to like, comment and subscribe because you know I got the vibes and let go. Here we are in Canva. Now I have opened up just a random Canva design because what we need to do is on the left hand panel here is to go to the app section. So if you scroll down here, we'll see Google Drive and if you can't find it, just search it up here. But typically you just click on this and it's just going to ask you to connect your Google Drive. Now that was in my free account. So I already have my pro account over here, uh, which is yes, pro and I've already connected my Google account. So it's really simple. You just sign in and give Canva access. Now, let me show you how to use this. So if I scroll down here, I find my Google Drive. This is where you'll see your content. Now it's only pulling pictures uh, and images. Yeah, pictures and images from your Google Drive. So I'm not entirely sure if it will pull uh, video. I haven't played around with that, but I've, I mainly use it just for the pictures itself. So in this case, you see that I have some photos here. You can name a specific uh, specific folder that uh, name as well. Um, in this case, I have Canva export and I should have another folder named example photos, but that's beside the point. But as you can see here, let me just, let's just say I just delete this photo here. I can take this photo and just paste it into here and boom, it is inside my Canva design. Now, what I want to do is show you how to export this stuff here, okay? So we're gonna go over to the share button up top here. And what you'll notice if we scroll down, you'll see the more button with the three dots, click on that. And then keep scrolling down and you'll see in this save section, the Google Drive. Now here is a caveat. Now, again, make sure you export this to where you want it to be. So I have a folder named Canva export. Now this is a real estate listing graphic. Now you can only export designs that are PNG, PDF, JPEG, or PowerPoint presentation. That's the only caveat. Now this specific design here, this first page is supposed to be a video, but again, you can't export directly from here to, to Google Drive. Now in this case, I'm just going to just export this image here. So I'm just going to go again up to share. I'm going to go down to this more button. And then once you use it, it will appear in your recently used. So I'm going to hit Canva export. I'm going to just save this as a PNG and I'm just going to save just that page to here and just click done. Hit save and give Canva some time to let that go through. And then you should be able to click a link and it's actually going to open up your image inside that specific drive here. So you see view in Google Drive. So if I click on that, let's see what happens. It's going to open up my image here. So, and then I guess you can, let's see if you can, you can go into your, I get Google drive here. Let me find this Canva export and there it is. That is the image and that is how you export directly to, to Google drive. Now here are some trouble playing if you will, I've had some real estate friends say that they are not able to connect their Google drive to canva and i think there may be some things in the background so let me just show you one quick thing here so if i go to my free account i'm going to open up to you want to go to your home page here go up to your profile and go to account settings now with this specific free account i used a google my google account to open this free canva account and it's connected to that google account, if that makes sense. So if you have opened up a Canva account with a Google account, I suggest that you try to only use or connect that specific Google drive using that same account. So I think some people may have opened Canva with a different account and they're trying to uh, connect another Google drive folder. So I think that may be where the mishaps are happening, but I'm not entirely sure because in my case, I am 
using the same email and account Google account that I've used for my pro to connect it with the same Google Drive account, if that makes sense. So that is it for this video. If you try it out, let me know if it works for you. Comment down below, hashtag and crew, so I know that you stay to the very end and that you are a real one. And apparently this is what the YouTube algorithm wants you to check out next. So if you're ready, three, two, one.